Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sir Jobs again. This is the part 3 of video discussions regarding system of nonlinear equations. So in this video, I will be giving you another example. We have here solved the given system of equations y squared minus 3x minus 4y equals negative 13 and 16x squared plus 9y squared minus 36y equals 108. So these are... Of course, they are curves because they are not linear, no? As you notice, there are terms in the degree of 2, so I expect they are not lines. So in the first equation, there's clearly a parabola because there's only one term in, the term in the degree of 2. And this one is an ellipse because there are, I mean, the numerical coefficients of x squared and y squared are 16 and 9, which are both positive. So this is an ellipse. You may check, guys. No? As I said, you may check this one using the Desmos, Desmos that, using Desmos.com or Desmos app if you have a phone. You may check if there is or are really intersections. So from here, I let you see. I actually graph it already. And notice that there is really an intersection. I think so. Now, um, if you may consider looking at the graph, then that could be potentially 3 and 2 okay so this is 3 here and 2 on the y-axis so if you are satisfied with that then you may do so and you consider 3 2 as your as your answer but if you want to make sure then you may proceed to the algebraic solution okay so i'll, I'll let you show all, I'll, I'll show to you also the algebraic solution if it is really true that 3 2 is really the solution okay now from the, let's go back to the uh, slides. We have here now, of course, as I said, the same as last time, these are the possibilities. And as we can see, there are five possibilities. No solution. This might be the potential, potential, um, potential situation that we have as, we have, as what we have seen in the, in the graph. This can't be. This one, three solutions. And then these are, this is uh, when four solutions now, when the parabola is crossing the ellipse four times. Now, in the algebraic solution, we may take note of the equations, consider the parabola as equation one and the ellipse as equation two. This time, I will use, I'll still use the elimination method, not the substitution, because this is quite complicated, guys. No? And as you can see, you can focus on the, the term in the, in the degree of two, which is y squared. Look at y squared, no? There's no way I can eliminate x because it does not match here in equation 1 and 2. We have here um, x in the degree of 1. We have here x in the degree of 2. So I can focus on the y variable. And notice, this is y in degree of 2, y degree of 2. There's also y in degree of 1 and also y in degree of 1. So, and it happens that if I multiply the whole equation by 9, as what I have, what as what I am doing here, I can see in advance that nine times y squared is the same as this, and nine times four y is also the same as this because that's thirty six. Okay, so the result will be this: we have nine y squared minus twenty seven x minus thirty six y equals negative one hundred seventeen. So again, same way, I'm actually leaving a small space here for the x squared term in equation two. So this is what it looks like. I'm aligning now the same terms. 9y squared aligned. x squared we don't have, so that's why I have leave, I leave a space here. Uh, we don't have the x term, so that's why I have a space also here down. Alignment, and then also alignment of the constant terms. Now from here, I have to decide minus or, sub minus or um, plus, or addition or subtraction. Of course, I'll go for subtraction for this to be eliminated. 9y squared minus 9y squared, of course, that's 0. Okay, so you can use cancellation symbols. No? That's zero already, and this is also zero. It's up to you if you may you may write zero here down or just cancel it out. Then you will come up with sixteen. Sorry, negative sixteen x squared rather, because remember this is zero minus sixteen x squared is negative sixteen x squared. Negative twenty seven x minus zero is negative twenty seven x. Negative one hundred seventeen minus one hundred eight is negative two hundred twenty five. Then simplifying further. You can have negative 16x squared minus 27x plus 225 equals 0. Now, if you want to be formal, guys, if you want to be formal, you can multiply the whole equation by negative 1. 
to make the value of a positive but since this is not this is just part of the solution i don't need to make that or i don't need to you to, to do that no it's only optional if you want then that's a quadratic equation i can use a quadratic formula because i can sense that this is or i can actually i can't really factor it out using whole numbers probably but if there's a way you can do that you can do that okay but if it's hard then you may proceed to quadratic formula so from here, x equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. a is equal to negative 16, of course. Notice, guys, I'm using x variable right now. In the previous examples, I was using the y variable, of course, because in the quadratic equation in the previous examples, it has y variable. But right now, we have x variable in the quadratic equation. So of course, in the quadratic formula, I also use x variable. a is, is negative 16 again b is negative 27 and c is equals is equal to positive 225 substituting them to the quadratic formula you will come up with negative of negative uh, 27 plus minus the square root of negative 27 squared minus 4 times negative 16 all over 225 all over 2 times negative 16 so we can actually have x equals 27 plus negative plus minus rather square root of 15 129 all over negative 32 well, actually, square root of 15, 129 is a perfect square, and that's equivalent to 123. So that's why we have here 27 plus minus um, 123 all over negative 32. So from that value, I can actually break it down into two values. So the first value of x is when I add 27 and 123. So that's 27 plus 123 all over negative 32. The second value is when I subtract them. Okay, so 27 minus 123 all over negative 32. Then I can actually add the result is 150 all over negative 32. Simplifying further, I can reduce it into negative 75 all over 16. Now for x sub 2, I have actually negative 96 all over negative 32 and it's positive 3. Okay. Now, let's proceed to the next one. I am taking down the equation on equation 2 here. And these are the two values. Actually, I will need more space for the first value of x. So that's why there's a big space intended for it. Okay? So the same as the previous example, guys, in the second example. Um, you can use either equation 1 or equation 2. It doesn't matter. Just choose or be wise in choosing choose the simpler equation so in my case i'll just use equation number one okay so i'll just substitute the value of x sub one so that's negative 75 over 16 and then if i do that i will come up with positive negative three times times negative so of course that's positive 225 all over 16. i'll just get rid of the fraction first i'll multiply the whole equation by 16 so 16 times the whole equation then I'll come up with 16y squared, just distribute, no? So 16y squared, 16 times this one, cancel 16, so you have 225. 16 times negative 4 is negative 64y, and 16 times negative 13 is negative 208. Then, you may rearrange, you will now have 16y squared minus the 64y plus 225 plus 208 here, equals 0. Then you have 16y squared minus 64y plus 433 equals 0. So for me, guys, the numbers are quite big. So I'd rather use um, quadratic formula this time. So using quadratic formula, these are the values a, b, and c. a is 16, b is negative 64, and c is 433. So substituting them, you have negative of negative 64 plus minus the square root of negative 64 squared minus 4 times 16 times 433 all over 2 times 16. Honestly, guys, now if you will try to use a calculator, just try to combine these terms here inside the radical symbol and you will actually come up with a negative number. And remember, the square root of a negative number is imaginary. Okay? And since we are dealing with the rectangular coordinate system, all numbers must be real numbers and of course that excludes the imaginary number so our conclusion since this is an imaginary number then y sub 1 does not exist 
or in other words, it does not exist in the rectangular coordinate system. Okay? So, meaning, if the value of x is negative 75 over 32, then it doesn't have a value of y, or the ordered pair does not exist this time. Okay? For the second value of x, we have the value 3. When we substitute that value to the equation 1, or to the first equation, that becomes y squared minus 3 times 3 minus 4y equals negative 13. And it's y squared minus 9 minus 4y equals negative 13. Simplifying further, you have y squared minus 4y minus 9 plus 13 equals 0. And then finally, you have y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals 0. So in these cases, you know, the numbers are quite small. And I think it is very noticeable that this is a perfect square trinomial. So the, the factors would be y, y minus 2 quantity squared equals 0. So this is what I said, no? If the quadratic equation is simpler, you can do factoring. If you can factor it out. But if not, you may choose to use the quadratic formula. So like this one. This is quite big where the numbers are, are really not close to each other. So I'll just use quadratic formula. Uh, more than factoring because it's quite hard. And then for this one, this is very small. And I can see that this is really factorable. Okay? So if the quadratic equation is factorable, you factor it out. In fact, that is the most suggested method because it's simpler and it's faster. Now, from here, um, of course, I can break it down into y minus 2 times y minus 2. And remember that you have to equate each factor to 0. So in other words, the first factor y minus 2 should be equated to 0. And the second factor, well, the same. The same, um, the same binomial, no? So in this case, you have the same value of y, y equals 2. So there's only one value of y, and that is y sub 2, which is equal to 2. Okay? So you have to understand that there's only, or the numbers are, uh, the values of y here, though they come from different um, factors, they have the same values y equals 2. So obviously, there's only one value of y. So we only have one ordered pair, and that's 3 and 2. Therefore, 3 and 2 is the solution to the system. So we actually have verified, no? A while ago, before we started, we have seen that the, um, the two curves are intersecting probably at 3 and 2. But we have to make sure. Okay? It's better to be sure uh, more than just in, uh, speculating. You know? It can be true that it's 3 and 2 based on our own eyes. But it would be, um, what's this? It would be more satisfying if we got the same answer using algebraic solution. Okay? So, I think that's it, guys, for this video discussion. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos. Okay? Goodbye and see you again next time.